Reserve Act was never ratified by the required three-fourths of the states. As a matter of fact, only two states ever correctly ratified the act. In 1935, the Supreme Court declared that an organization such as the privately owned Federal Reserve was unconstitutional. And the henchman organization, the IRS, is not really an organization within the United States Department of Treasury. In the case of Chrysler Court versus Brown, the U.S. Supreme Court admitted that no organic act for the IRS could be found. In fact, no law can be found which requires American citizens to pay taxes on their wages. The IRS, a private collection agency working for foreign banks, specifically the owners of the Federal Reserve, operate out of Puerto Rico under the Federal Alcohol Administration, which was declared unconstitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court in the case of U.S. versus Constantine in 35. Please research the legality of these two private enterprises at freedomtofascism.com and supremelaw.org. Who does own the Federal Reserve Banks? Numerous private banking companies, such as the Rothschild Bank of London, Warburg Bank of Hamburg, Rothschild Bank of Berlin, and Lazard Brothers of Paris, just to name a few. Does our tax money pay for government services we use every day? No. 100% of individual income tax revenue goes to the Federal Reserve Banks to pay interest only on the federal debt. Not one nickel is spent on government services. Don't be fooled by empty promises of politicians or the lies of mainstream media. No hero is coming to give us our freedom back from these bankers. Only we can do that. And the freedom of our children depends on you and me and all the freedom-loving people of this great country. I believe in us, and I implore you to research for yourself, and then please take action.